And tonight we're going to start over in downtown Columbia. That's where residents, SCDOT representatives, state and local lawmakers, everyone gathered tonight to discuss the future of the historic Mill District. News 19's Rachel Riff was at that meeting just a few hours ago and has all those details. After traffic studies, data collection, resident road rage, and commuter headaches, transportation and state leaders say progress is soon coming to the Mill District. Locals say they're ready for some road relief. That's why we uh, pulled together the transportation folks, because as we assessed our needs, transportation is front and center. We expect a $500,000 allocation to a street project that they want to have happen in their area tomorrow. Um, and additionally, we're trying to get information about what other traffic needs and calming devices that we need to put in for the Mill District, which is the Whaley Street neighborhood, Olympia. These are historic communities. SCDOT says the $500,000 allocation set to pass Tuesday is to redesign, realign, repave, and paint Hayward Street. We don't have any Viola Henley, the host of Monday night's meeting, said it's vital to consider pedestrians in the district's transportation needs. It is absolutely scary to see these kids on these uni um, bikes just flying through traffic without any kind of shoulder that's delineated, no bike lanes. Other long-term goals include repaving and painting Olympia Bluff Road before the end of June and resurfacing Dover and Texas streets before next October. Rachel Ripp, News 19 WLTX. Now, according to the Mill District Alliance, there will be more meetings just like this one in the future. If you'd like to learn more and get involved, you can visit their website at milldistrictsc.com.